The milk in your coffee just can't get any fresher than this. <laughs> The only downside is that we don't drink milk in our <laughs> no, coffee. that's true. <laughs> but this aside, if you've been following our South Africa series, you've probably seen that during the last weeks we've been rushing through the garden route and through the little Karoo, stopping at all those different places to make video. So we figured that we, it was time for a little bit of rest. And we found the perfect place for that. We are Nick and Lens. For the last five years, we have been blogging and vlogging about nature's traveling. And now we embarked on an epic journey to experience naturism in every continent of the world. Subscribe to travel along with us. Right now, we are in Africa. Actually, we don't really drink any milk at all, but I had never milked the cow before. <laughs> and I also think that this is a very symbolic way to experience South Africa. Because you see, the whole economy of South Africa is based off on farming before mining and tourism came along. And everybody keeps telling us how fertile this ground is, so you can literally grow anything here. You can even hear it in the language. A large, a large place, which we would call an estate, is called in South Africa a farm. Mm -hmm. Even if there's no farming being done at all. But we are here to relax and not to milk cows. <laughs> we are in a nature's place called Bare Necessities, about two hours from Cape Town. And when we talk about naturism, people often think that it's only about being naked. But it's so much more. Actually, it's the perfect way to get rid of stress and just relax. It's all about being in nature. And without clothes, you just get closer to nature than with clothes. And places like this are just perfect for that. I would love to give you the big tour, but this place is rather small, so I can just do the tour from here. Over there, those two chairs over there is actually where we just spent the last couple of days, just relaxing, reading a book. And it's nice because we are under a tree, so it's really perfect for the shade and then it's not that hot. And over there you have the swimming pool. It's also a rather small swimming pool, but it has a great advantage. Because it is so small, it heats up very quickly. And it's even good, the temperature is even good so that Nick can swim in it. And then behind the swimming pool you have the common area, just where people come together in the evenings, have a braai and a drink. And when it gets chilly, you can just go into the hot tub. And over here is our cabin with a little kitchen, a bathroom and a bed, obviously. But I'm not going to show you the inside because we've been making a mess over the last two days. But it's just to give you an idea. Other than our cabin, there are also three camping spots. There is a guest room and a very cool scenic bus. If you find yourself in the Western Cape province and you want to try naturism or you're just looking for a couple of days off without clothes, definitely check out Bare Necessities. And as always, we will leave a link in the description. Ever since we started this road trip, Cape Town had a bit of a symbolic meaning. It was the end point of our road trip, the direction we constantly followed. But now that it's, the city is only 100 kilometers or so away, the feeling gets double, just because it's the end point, because it's the end of the long road we've taken, because it's a place where we're gonna drop off our car. So, because it's still quite early, we figured that we can extend our road trip a little bit by doing a small detour along the Cape Peninsula. The Cape Peninsula is said to have some scenic roads and some beautiful places to stop. And the first place where we're stopping is a town called Muizenberg. I think we found surfers paradise. <laughs> it's just cool with people who are surfing. I've taken some surf classes a while ago with the hope that I would be a natural, but apparently I'm totally not a natural. But seeing this, this tickle to want to try it again. Just rent a board, there are numbers of shops where you can rent it. But I'm not gonna try it in this cold water. Yeah, this is a nice 
little cozy town with a very pleasant vibe with lots of surf shops and coffee shops and bars and we're actually really close to Cape Town so maybe we can come back for a day or so but now we're gonna explore the peninsula a little bit further the seaside road is definitely idyllic but it's also very busy Our next stop is a town called Fishhook, which means fish corner. We've only driven about 10 kilometers south, but it already looks completely different. For example, there are absolutely no surfers here. But there are quite a lot of swimmers and that probably has everything to do with the fact that there are shark nets in this bay. These nets are supposed to keep the sharks away. I'm not really sure how well they work because they are made of cord and I would have imagined that they would be made of steel but probably they will do some of the trick. But another thing they have here are shark spotters. Those are just people who watch the ocean all the time and look for sharks. And then they put up flags depending on the conditions. And if we look at the flag today, it means that the spotting conditions are poor, which means that maybe they are not looking well enough or they just can't see far enough. I don't know. In fact, I recently read that there are not so many white sharks in the Cape Town area anymore. And that is all because there are two killer whales patrolling here and they attack the white sharks and they uh, eat them or chase them away. In any case, it's much more swim friendly these days. The previous village definitely had a lot more atmosphere than this one. But of course, in this one, you can swim in, this, in the ocean. So I guess it all depends on what you like or what you don't like. We are not going to stop in every village along the coast because there are way too many and we don't have that much time. So we are going to continue directly to one of the most tourist hotspots of the peninsula. Simon's Town is yet another coastal town with a market with souvenirs and a statue of a dog and a small harbor with a very large marine ship in it. But that is not why we came here. This is why we came to Simonstown. This is pretty unique. I think these are the only, or this is the only colony of penguins in the whole of Africa, or at least one of the few, I think. I just love penguins. They're so cute. They're tiny and the way they go in and outside of the water, they do like this. Chuk, 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 chuk. They walk very funny and they just look at you like, what? And still they're super cute. That's why I like them. <laughs> We could follow the coastal road all the way to the southern tip of the peninsula, which is called Cape of Good Hope. But it's getting a bit late, so we are gonna take a shortcut through the mountains to the other side of the peninsula. This is really interesting. We passed the tip of the mountain and we arrived at a completely different place. It's cloudy here, it's mostly pine forest. It looks totally different than where we were five minutes ago. And it's 10 degrees colder, now it's 22. And at the beach it was around 30, 33. The unfortunate part of this story is that our Airbnb is at this side of the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that it's not gonna be this cloudy where we are, or at least not the whole time when we are here. The last part of our route is called the Chapman's Peak Road and is said to be the most beautiful road of the peninsula and I can easily understand why.
This is it, Aww. the the end of our road in South Africa. Aww. We are in a town called Hout Bay. It's a southern suburb of Cape Town, mm. and I truly hope that the weather will get better here because this is also where the nude beach of Cape Town oh, is. Jesus, I hope so too. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm literally having like goosebumps, but in a cold way. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers I, crossed. Because the nude beach is definitely on our itinerary, yes. and we are also going to try to find out where everybody loves Cape Town so much. Mm. But that's all for our next video. So if you don't want to miss that, you know what to do. Subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Just subscribe, click, chuck, that's it. And put on your notifications. And if you like this video, please give us a big fat thumbs up. And we just see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.